Chérie, ouvre-moi fond, moi ça vous c'est la bonne, la bonne, la bonne. So, if you see me looking down, it's because I have my tab over right here with all of my questions on there. If you want me to leave the questions, I can leave them tagged down below. So if you want to do your own Christian tag, then you can do that as well. So I have a total of 11 to 12 questions. So I just want this video to be short and sweet and quick. So let's get right in. Um, the very first question is, when did you get saved? I'm not sure on the exact day and month or year. I was pretty young when I got saved. So I remember, was, I, I have a visual memory of, you know, what happened. Um, but I think I was saved around the summer of 2007 or 2008. I think it was 2008 because I remember not too long ago within the, that year after I went to Haiti. So I think it was 2008 and I was pretty young when I got saved. Um, how long have you been saved? Now, because if it was 2008, that means I have been saved for at least 13 to 14 years. So there's not many people who can say they've been saved that long, but that's how long I've been saved. Next question is, are you baptized? And if so, when? Yes, I am baptized. Um, if you want a whole story of when I got saved and how and, you know, how I got baptized, I can do a separate video on that, of what occurred. Um, but yes, I am baptized. I was baptized on Memorial Day. I can't remember what month <laughs> Memorial Day is in, but it was Memorial Day 2018, and I got saved with six other people. So that makes seven, which is a good number. Um, next is, what's your favorite Bible verse? My favorite Bible verse is Proverbs 3, 5 through 7. And I can just put it right here so you can see that. The reason I like that because it just always it reminds me to trust God. Trust God, trust God, trust God, because God got you. The next one is, what is your denomination? My denomination is Baptist. I'm not Southern Baptist. I'm not... Um, <clears throat> There's different kinds of Baptists. I'll just say I'm the regular Baptist because it's just Baptist for us. Um, so yeah. And then um, your favorite Bible, your favorite books, the Bible. So my favorite is Esther, Proverbs. I put James, Genesis is more, but those are the main four that I really love. Esther is my top favorite. Um, the next question is your favorite Bible person or person in the Bible. For me, of course, is Esther. Um, King Solomon, Joseph, and David. Those are my favorite ones. Next is, do you have any favorite Christian artists or music? I don't really have on the top of my mind of like a favorite Christian artist. And when I do favorite, it means like majority of the songs that I like from them. I mean, the thing I can think of is Kirk Franklin, maybe. Um, there are other people, but I mainly listen to the songs. I'm good with names, but... If there's so many people that's good with the music, I don't really remember the names. I just put it in my playlist. So I do have a playlist of all the Christian artists. I like listening to, um, I call it gospel. Because you know the difference between gospel and contemporary Christian music. If you know, you know. Uh, but I have my own playlist on Spotify, which I can link below. I have Christian rap. I have what I call anointed, what I feel is anointed music. I have contemporary I have R&B, just different types, made by Christian people. So if you want to see my playlist, you can go to my Spotify for that. Um, and then, let's see here. Um, what version of the Bible do you use? I prefer New King James Version and NIV. Um, I feel like New King James Version is what we use at my church a lot. And I'm tired of the thou, thee, and there, those things. And I feel like... Um, I like to use NIV because it's more, I don't want to say dumbed down, but just like the language is more of today. It's way easier for people to understand and process what is being said. So I prefer New King James Version or NIV. Um, the next question is um, your favorite Christian books. I don't really read Christian books. I just, if the book is good, then I'll read it no matter what. Um, but growing up, I used to read Chicken Soup. Is it Chicken Soup for the Soul? Yes, I think that's what it was called. But I used to see the movies. 
I used to have the book. I used to bring, not too long ago, I was reading Christian um, Soup for the Soul at my old job when I had time to read it. That was, that's what I would read. Other than that, it was mainly my Bible. Um, at my church, we used to have a, a library in there, and I used to read all the books that they have. Never really sat down, looked at the author, but I just would read the books there. Um, while I was looking, I did find the Christian books that I was reading not too long ago. Um, there's this one. This is the book that my brother left behind. Um, the Transformation American's Journey to Darkness by Dr. Phil Stranger and Dr. Doug Levesque. So this is the last Christian book that I read. I did not read all of it, unfortunately, but it has some very good information. And it's like very up to date from today, from the police brutality, from the LGBTQ, from abortion, all this stuff up to date. So here's the Christian um, noodles, the chicken soup for the soul. I said, oh my gosh, but this is the last one that I've been reading. And this is the chicken soup for the Christian woman's soul. This is the last book that I've read. Um, but here's like a list. They have teenage soul, woman's soul, mother's soul, teenage preteen college like i used to read these all the time and inside of here yep they still have it inside of here when i was younger they used to have like if you wanted more or if they wanted just to get like a reader survey so if you wanted to like um get more of the books they'll have this in it so you can just fill it out send it let them know you want a book and usually they used to give it out for free now i don't even know if this company is still in business because everything's online now but look at i still have it but other than that, if I'm reading a Christian book, it's either on like electronics, so Kindle, um, Google Play, or um, Apple Books. Right now, I'm not reading really any Christian books. I should be. Um, right now, I'm reading like feminine, feminine books to get more into my femininity. Um, but yeah, these are the so for our last two books besides the Bible the last two Christian books that I've been that I have read but other than that I don't really sit down and look at Christian I should but I really don't um the next one is favorite Christian movie my favorite Christian movie of course is the movie Esther unfortunately I do not know who made that movie or directed it I can put the picture of the what it looks like right here this is my favorite esther movie and i will not watch any other every other esther movie that i've seen is not as good as this one right here this is the best and they should just leave it as it is like that um but i like that movie i like courageous um war room is my favorite christian movie there's actually a lot and my mom is a hoarder when it comes to movies, especially like Christian movies and stuff like that. You should see her room. If I could, I could take you to her room. My mom own, like still has a dresser. And instead of being, being clothes, she has movies. Like Maybe I'm going to show you what it looks like. Like She has movies in there. And like I used to always sneak in her room when she would go to work. I used to watch Pamela's Prayer, China Cry, just different Christian movies. The Apostle Days, The Passion of Christ. All of it. I love, um, if you know, I might do a tag, but if you don't know, I like dystopian movies. So whenever it's like the end of time movies, I love those. Like Left Behind or Revelation or Tribulations. I love those movies and I can watch them like all the time. We even have some downstairs in my living room. So those are my favorite Christian movies. One day I might just make a video on movies that Christian people should watch or also TV shows. Because that's what I could mainly watch growing up. I honestly might just take you to her room so I can go show you it. Like all the videos that she has. She might have some secular movies in there and stuff like that. But like majority of that drawer is like all Christian movies. I probably should have showed you the other side. But it's a bit messy. And then I would go downstairs where my dad's down there. But I like I'm literally not lying. Like look, look at this. Look. Like, literally, like, like, all these Christian movies I grew up watching. This, okay, it's not a Christian movie, <laughs> but, like, look at this. I grew up watching all of these, and there's more. There's a lot more. In the living room. Oh, I remember the 12 Apostles. Oh, this one. Even African christian movies like she she has them all if you you know 
need to figure out a Christian movie, hit me up. I probably, my mom probably has it. Look, this is one of my favorites right here. Look, look at all these right here. Look at the Toji Pamela's Prayer. Look at Saved by the Bell. But she, she has it all. Um, but that's the end of the video. Like I said, I wanted it to be quick. I did not want it to be a long video. Um, I can, like I said, leave the questions down below. If you have any more questions or any other video suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. She